Good evening, I'm Sarah Sapsanama. Let's begin with the headlines of the hour. Finance Minister Barshaman Poon announces budget of 1 trillion 860 billion 300 million rupees for the next fiscal year, priority given to education sector and infrastructure development. Private sector warns of liquidity crisis as the government raises internal borrowing for next fiscal. Opposition says financial irregularities imminent. Chief ministers say constitution implementation feeble. A seven-member parliamentary committee under the coordination of UML lawmaker Surya Thapa formed to probe into cooperative fraud case. Home Minister Lami Chani's name not to be included in the TOR. And 3 billion 500 million rupees budget announced for the sports sector, 1 billion 300 million rupees allocated for infrastructure. The government has introduced a budget of 1.863 trillion rupees for the upcoming fiscal year, prioritizing education and infrastructures. The upcoming year has been declared the year for economic progress as well. The budget presented by Finance Minister Barsha Manpun during the joint meeting of both the Houses of Parliament earlier today is higher this fiscal year by 6.2%. The budget of the current fiscal year is 1.751 trillion rupees. In the new budget, 1.14067 trillion, which is 61.31%, has been allocated for current expenses. Likewise, towards capital expenses, 352.35 billion rupees, or 18.94%, has been allocated and 367.18 billion for economic transfers. This is 19.74% of the total budget. According to Finance Minister Poon, tax collection is the main source of revenue. 1.26 trillion rupees will be collected from taxes and 52.33 billion rupees from foreign grants. The remaining target of 547.67 billion rupees will be covered with 217.67 billion rupees from foreign loans and 330 billion from internal borrowing. Economic progress and promotion of private sector, agriculture, energy, information technology, tourism, industrial development and infrastructure development, education health, development of social sectors, inclusivity, social security and good governance and also the improvement in public service delivery are the priorities of the budget. Agricultural sector transformation, development of energy and IT, promotion of tourism and development of entrepreneurship and industry have been included as five transformative sectors of the budget. 148 billion rupees have been allocated for grants to provincial and local levels for the upcoming fiscal year. 60 billion has been allocated for provincial level and 88, point 88 billion for local level. Likewise, 234.73 billion rupees has been allocated for a conditional grant for provincial and local levels with 25.84 billion for provincial level and 288.8 billion for local levels. Likewise, 6.2 billion has been allocated for provincial levels as complementary grant and 7.132 for local levels. Towards special grant, 4.4 billion has been allocated for provincial levels and 8.5 billion for local levels. Finance Minister Poon got the chance to unveil the budget today for the second time. The budget book was brought to the parliament inside a locally produced nettle and taka bag that was purchased from Capitals Tamil. The private sector of the country has given a mixed reaction on the budget for the upcoming fiscal year, which was unveiled earlier today. Let's take a look at their reactions. The FNCCI uh, every year giving the some suggestion uh, for the budget. Then after this, you know, the suggestion, some of the suggestion is, uh, you know, incorporated with this, you know, the budget. Yeah, uh, maybe budget is uh, how we can going to implement and uh, this is uh, you know the major you know the concern uh, but we can uh, see the all the detail in the you know uh, the figure then we will give this uh, our you know the official you know the decision by tomorrow i mean le sarkar lai chai yo pujigat kharcha vriddhi garnu parcha bhanya thyo pujigat kharcha gat varsha jaste 17 pratishat mai simit cha ra elle थप नया कुरा के दिएको अनुभूति चाहिँ भएको छ असोरो बजेट अब ठीकै छ भन्नु पर्छ हैन तै पनि चाहिँ बजेटको आकार गत वर्षको भन्दा करिब 20% प्लसमा आको रहेछ त्यसले गर्दा अलिकति ठूलो बजेट होस् लाग्छ र हाम्रो निर्माण क्षेत्र कुरा गर्दा खेरि चाहिँ नि अब 5 10 15 बेडको हस्पिटलहरुको लागि 
जो पंद्रह वर्ष छुट्टिया सकारात्मक क्योंकि हम गत वर्ष धेरे साथी भूतान भग थे अब अन्य विषय में विस्तृत अध्ययन करें हे समग्र में जेनरल बजेट हो मतलब सरकार ने लियान पर्ने बजेट हो यह दिन को यो तोक दिन में लिया बजेट हो बजेट ने जो निजी क्षेत्र जो हौसला प्रदान करूर्ने तस्त कि बजेट में खास संबोधन कर There were mixed reactions from chief ministers and ministers from provinces towards the government budget for next year. Chief Minister of Madhya Pradesh Province, Saroj Kumar Yadav, has opined the budget will not ensure effective implementation of federalism. While Bagmati Province Chief Minister has said the budget called for partnership between all three tiers of the government for development, employment, and productivity. Yatta karan ko paks mamale yu budget bata mamale dekhen. Khas karera mere budhai anusar. यो बिल्कुल संघीयता विरोधी बजट में लहर प्रदेश स्थानीय तौर सौम्य करने पर ने अधिक काम से काम हो जाएं और साझेदारी में करने विशेष रूप से विकास रोजगार और उत्पादन में साझेदारी में करने बनने नीति में ले सुने तो जाएं मलाल से आइले को हम लोग व्यवस्था को अपना साथी करना हो जस्सरी बजट प्रस्तुत करिए कुछ सरकार को टिकाऊ कति को उसे कति कार्यान्वयन कर सकता कति भित्रे उसको तो इच्छा शक्ति कति भूरा भर पर्च बजेट विगत का दिन में भाग तुलनात्मक रूप से बड़ी जनमुखी रगतिशील देखि खास कर शिक्षा क्षेत्र र स्वास्थ्य क्षेत्र ने तुलनात्मक रूप में प्राथमिकता पाए देखि पूर्वाधार का हिसाब से कर्णाली संसार प्राथमिकता में राखे रा, बजेट निर्माण कर दिया भे हमी संघीयता में आई सके कर्णाली रघीयता को मर्म बम जो यह बजेट आयोग अनुभूत होने थी यह बजेट मेरे विचार में न कर्णाली का आवश्यक मुद्दा देखिने गरी संबोधन कर सकते न तो यह संघीयता को मर्म में आधारित The ruling alliance has termed the budget introduced by the government positive. They have claimed that the budget will address the deteriorating economic condition of the country. However, opposition parties have said that the implementation part will be challenging amid uncertainties regarding sources. It is based on populism. Uh, it has not targeted the real object. Just distributed the approach and trying to keep every sector humor uh, in humor, but country approach, country directions is not giving by this budget. So it is more or less a traditional populist and also ambitious, because the problem of our nation is not only resources constraint. It is basically management constraint. Still, we are increasing the size of budget. There is no balance in between our uh, our capacity and budget allocation. That has to be managed. And I think overall, it is a traditional populist and distributive budget. Aile ko position ma sakar hat pang nahi cha. Tar yo aile budget ma jo sirsa karu toke ka sun, jo program karu toke ka sun, tela pura karna chahiye. Panchan na be khara budget ilaks. यो अहिले अहिले अठारह खर्ब ने पुग्दन नेपाली समृद्ध ने को राष्ट्रीय आकांक्षा पूरा करने गरी रंत्र यो वर्ष सुधार करने गरी रनता डिलिवरी दिने गरी चाह काम करने बजेट में आक धर चुनौती अब जो सामजिक रर्थिक में देखिए रन्वयन पच्छू ये कार्यान्वयन पक्ष राम करते गए समर्मा बजेट राम In this context, we also asked in our public voice segment to people in several provinces how they found the government's budget for the next fiscal. Let's take a look at what they had to say. जोन सुस्ता किस्म का आर्थ तंत्र वाले जहाँ तस्ता क्रियाशील खाने खाल का कार्य कलाबर कारण गरीब नशा बना जोन सरकार ले बना जा सो तो सभी बंदा मौत बना करा हो। बजट में संबंधन होने तर कारण इन सब में पुक्ता हैरी अलग पत्र पर ने बिगत देखी गई परंपरा हो। कृषि क्षेत्र उजल मातियो इले आवश्यक ने कृषि में ल
it is time now for our segment Public Pulse where you text us with your opinion. Public Pulse. But before today's question, let's take a look at the results from yesterday's poll. Yesterday we asked you why has the distance between Nepali Congress and CPN UML widened. 51% voted for option A, intention to escalate problem, 29% for B, indication of new political equation, and 20% for C, political stand is normal. Here's today's question. What's your take on the inability to raise capital expenditure compared to overall budget? Your options are A, increase in administrative costs, B, added social security burden, and C, lack of capacity to spend. The voting is on. Type N E W S. Select your option A, B, or C, and send it to 34001 to share your opinion with us. Political parties have reached a consensus on the formation of Parliamentary Probe Special Committee addressing the demands of the main opposition, Nepali Congress. With this, the TOR of the committee have also been finalized. The parliament obstruction has been ended, while the budget has been unveiled in a harmonious environment. Addressing the conflict related to inclusion of Home Minister Lamichane's name in the TOR, investigation on Gorkha Media in which Lamichane was involved and the cooperative that had mishandled depositors' money has been prioritized. The points which states that recommendations could be made for investigation and action against the Home Minister if he is found guilty. The probe committee that has been allocated a deadline of three months has been given the jurisdiction to make recommendation for action against those involved in mishandling of the depositors' money. The committee will monitor and study the crisis witnessed in the cooperative sector, legal and organizational purpose and the financial system and give suggestions as well. Likewise, the committee has been given the responsibility to study and recommend ways to ensure safety of the depositors' money at troubled cooperatives and to return the deposits at the earliest. The committee will also give suggestions regarding the required policy level amendments. Main opposition Nepali Congress that had obstructed the parliament for a long time has reached an agreement on the issue related to Gorkha Media. The committee has been entrusted the responsibility of giving suggestions regarding ways to address the problems witnessed in 20 cooperatives listed as troubled by the Department of Cooperatives and Troubled Cooperatives Management Committee and to explain the process to return the depositors' money. Criticisms are rife, saying that parliamentary committees were formed, while some allowed the perpetrators to go scot-free. Now, Kantipu Media Group's chairperson, Kailash Siroya, has been brought to the capital for further treatment. He had been airlifted from Janakpur and brought to Medicity Hospital in Dalitpur's Nakhu. Siroya was admitted to Kavya Hospital in Janakpur after he reported health issues while in custody. The hospital had referred Medicity Hospital for further treatment. While extending Siroya's remand by three days for the third time on Monday, Dhanusha District Court had ordered him to be treated by his doctors at appropriate hospitals, citing his deteriorating health condition. Sports News the government has allocated 3 billion 500 million rupees budget for the Ministry of Youth and Sports for the fiscal year 2081-82. This includes 1 billion 300 million rupees for sports infrastructures. The amount is 630 million rupees more than the budget allocated for the ministry in the ongoing fiscal year. 600 million rupees has been allocated for the 10th national sports to be held in Karnali province. Cricket stadiums have been given priority like previous years. Organizing e-sports tournament has also made it in the government priority. The budget allocated for sports sectors is 0.19% of the total budget. During the announcement, Minister for Finance Borshaman Poon said the government aims at organizing 80 national-level sports tournament in the next fiscal. The Mulpani Stadium and Girija Prasad Cricket Stadium have been listed in National Pride projects. Chitwan's Gautam Buddha Cricket Stadium is to be made with partnership between all three tiers of the government. Likewise, the Kritipur Cricket Stadium will be upgraded and the works of Fapla Cricket Stadium is expected to gain momentum in the next fiscal. The government also aims at raising partnership with the private sector for the overall development of sports economy. The government is also planning to include sports activities in CSR. Government plans to encourage the participation of women in sports, form a national team for the Olympic and Asian Games participation, encourage players overall and promote traditional games and sports activities at school levels. That is all for the moment. Thank you for watching. Good night.